Okay, we're going to be working on this nameplate. That is part 126-4-54B. Notice that we're going to center your name um, right in the middle with letters that are going to be 0.75 tall. There's a box in the middle that's 2.5 tall by 6 inches long. There's going to be a box on the outside that goes from center to center all the way around here that's 8 inches by 4.5 inches. There are four circles that are 0.62 diameter on those corners. Um, there are also uh, arcs that are 0.75 that are centered on the same corner there and then there is a fillet right in here that's 0.56 as we go around so let's go to AutoCAD create a new drawing um, we'll go ahead and click line and I'm gonna start by making a line that goes down 2.5 uh, and I'll go to the right then um, 6 go up 2.5 and hit enter go or I can hit C to close I can also do the same thing I just pan there to move it up a little bit I'll do the same thing down here go start the line click on it uh, wait a minute. click on line left click to start go down 4.5 uh, I'll zoom a little bit zoom and pan and then I'm going to turn move it to the right go that direction 8 go up 4.5 and then and hit enter and then C to close. All right. We're also going to just kind of draw some construction lines that go from endpoint to endpoint there. And I'm also going to draw a line that goes from this endpoint here over to that endpoint there. Then we're just going to click on move and we're going to move this entire thing. So I click the left click and then left click to create the window. Right click with the mouse when I'm done selecting and I want to shift right click midpoint and select the midpoint of that construction line there. Move it up to this one, shift right click midpoint, and just click right on that midpoint there and it puts it right in the middle. So then I can erase those two lines right there by doing a crossing. I'll zoom back a little bit because I'm going to do a couple things with circles now. So I'm going to go in here, do center diameter, and put a circle right on that endpoint there, and that diameter was 0.62. Um, I'm also going to change this and do a circle with a center radius that is 0.62. 7.5. Then we'll click copy. Um, select the objects. I'm going to select those two objects right there. Right click with the mouse. Um, my base point, I'll left click on this end point here and I'm going to, the new uh, second point of displacement there is going to be that end point and I'll just continue to copy to this end point and to that end point. I'm going to right click with the mouse and enter. All right. Then what we're going to do is this, is we're going to go ahead and click trim. I'm going to right click with the mouse first and it just automatically sets it so it starts trimming and I'll just start clicking the pieces that I want to get rid of there like that so I can do some really fancy things by doing crossings like this um, this way right so I can do that what happens when you do that kind of thing is it leaves those little pieces right there and you can't trim those things you have to actually erase them because they're going to be complete entities on their own so I'm going to erase those and I'll use a crossing to do it it's easier to select all right so now I've got that down next thing we'll do is we'll click on fillet so I'm gonna click fillet it asked me to select objects but first thing you got to do is I've got to set my radius to 0.65 so click on that put in 0.56 I didn't I didn't mean to say 0.65 0.56 so now my radius is 0.56 so select the first object I'll select that one and then this one then right click and and click repeat I'm gonna left click there and left click there right click repeat left click there left click there right click repeat there and there so you see how we're doing that just doing that right there select that first and don't forget to do it all the way around the entire part if you leave one of them off it's wrong because you got to be accurate all right, so we're right click and enter. So now I'm going to double click the mouse wheel to zoom to the extent. So the next thing we're going to worry about is the text right here. So I'm going to click on text and I'm going to create a text box that go, goes from that endpoint there to this endpoint over here. So we're going to put it right there in the middle. Notice this comes up and there's no way to change anything. So what I'm going to do is right click on this. So right click in this area right in here. Come down to where it says editor settings. Put all or put show toolbar. Now you have the toolbar there that you can see. Put in your name. Remember, it's all caps, so have your cap lock on. I'm going to highlight it. We're going to change this right here to be middle center. So it's now it's going to put it right in the center of that, and we're going to change the text height to be 0.75. So it should be right in the middle of the box, 
centered on there change the height to 0.75 and click OK and it should be centered on the thing so now we're done we're done with that part of it so um, we'll make sure we'll double click the mouse wheel to zoom the extents again then uh, you can you should go actually at this point you should save it so we're going to save it as 126-4-54B uh, oops I don't I want all caps B click save go to print uh, click on print you're going to click on your plotter and change it to P, uh, DWG to PDF we're going to zoom to the extents center of the plot click preview that's exactly what you want right click with the mouse click plot and then wherever you save that remember where you saved it should be in your documents or on your desktop or in a name folder on your desktop or someplace that you'll remember where to save it because a PDF is what you will submit when you submit it in Blackboard